We're not going to have solar power, but that's okay. This is going to be a little treacherous getting back out. Hello everyone, Thranks is here, and welcome back to Astroneer episode 16, where our research is getting used up, but we have quite a few bites to do things with. I say quite a few, but that will go away very quickly uh, once we start researching all of the things that we need. So we still have this area over here is pretty open. Now I was thinking I would expand it, but I don't know if that's really how I want to do it. Uh, see, we're... Still getting tumbleweeds in the base, though. So we're going to need to handle that. Let's go up here. Let's see, what is... Why did... How did this end up over here? Hmm. I'm not 100% sure what happened. I must have moved it and forgotten about it. That's quite all right. That's quite all right. Unless the storm dislodged it. That's a frightening thought. No. So let's go see. So what we were doing is we were making more storage for our vehicle. So we have a medium storage. Now what we need is more canisters. So we're going to go ahead and make those. We're going to make all these canisters because, you know, we'll need them for fuel, but also we're going to need them for our our vehicle with the large drill. Because what we want to do is we want to be able to go out, mine a bunch of resources, and then come back with so much soil that we can use the mineral extractor for anything we want as many times as we want. And also use all that excess soil to finish constructing the base in a large amount all at once. Now, I don't think this entrance is going to stay like this, as was pointed out in the comments. This is going to be vulnerable to tumbleweeds rolling into our base. So I think what we're going to do is we're actually going to run the ramp down this way. Down into the underside. And continue working there. At this point, I'm not even sure what this little grid network in here will be used for. Maybe something. The, the thing with Astroneer is there's real no, there's really no end game yet. Emphasis on yet. There's very much a beginning game, and it's fun. And there's a there's a mid game. But the moment everything is researched. You start to run out of goals and objectives other than just building. So that being the case, I don't know how much longer this series will continue because we're quickly going to be researching everything. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to finish up this base, which shouldn't be too many more episodes, and then we'll get in a shuttle and we'll probably travel around and talk about the different planets. Uh, but then, then the series will be over, so if I had to guess, off the top of my head, I would say maybe four, maybe five more episodes total, and then we'll be making room for a new game. But that's, that's ahead of where we are now. We're not there yet. For now, let us live in the present. Get this resin off of our stuff here. No, no, no. Right there, please. And then what we're going to do is take some of this soil here. Let's take a lot of it, actually. And let's do some construction on the base. We can always go back out and get a lot more if we need it. So we have... Yeah, see, I don't like these tumbleweeds in our base. I don't like that at all. At all. Mm, mm, no thank you. Okay. So let's make sure the wide mod is attached. Uh, but actually, we need the alignment mod. Let me think about where I put the alignment mod. The 
feel like it actually ended up somewhere a little non-standard. Oh goodness, of course I can't find it. Hmm. We could make another one. Ah, there it is. Okay. No, go back. All right. So now with all this soil, let's work on a plan to change this entranceway a little bit for our vehicle area. Hmm. Actually, no. No, no, no. You know what? On second thought... Let's bring the... Ooh, careful, careful! Oh, I knew that was going to happen, and I, I still thought I I could make it and tried to tried to beat it to the pass, tried to race ahead of it. Uh, luckily, there's no big penalty for dying in your base. I mean, it's slightly inconvenient, and of course, nobody likes to perish. But we're just going to land right down in our base where we were and pick our stuff back up. And so there's no real problem. There we go. Other than uh, about 60 seconds of time lost, which is not the end of the world. No, I don't want to dig. Put the body down. Oh, and a light. I do want my light back. I do enjoy the light. Okay, so we've got these in an odd configuration here where they're not doing what they're supposed to do. There we go. We have it. Okay. So what we need, actually, is this to come over and merge with this area here. And then we can actually kind of flatten it out. There we go. No power. And how are we getting power? Oh, we're connecting to it underneath. That's pretty interesting. come over here and try to join all of this together. That's our entrance there. Right, so over here we're going to smooth this out to join it up with this wall. Just try to enclose where we're at here. Well, that power goes fast, doesn't it? Not when you're tethered to the base, it doesn't. Look at that range. That's that's a that's a beautiful thing. Let's just continue with that, shall we? But the further away you use the flattening tool, the less it it flattens because it it's running with uh it, it's running with the gravity of the planet in mind. Now fine tuning structures and buildings is actually pretty challenging in Astroneer, so it's best if you don't focus on making everything perfect, but more functional. If it works, that's pretty good. In fact, if it does what it's supposed to do, by and large, that is probably the best you can hope for. Just because the construction tools are a little crude. Now, I would like to see, as the game continues in development. I would like to see some of the construction options a little more fine-tuned. I, I know there is the narrow mod that you can use for uh, detailing detailing structures without such a large uh, brush as the train tool that I'm currently using has with the wide mod. I, I am aware of that. Look at all this room for solar panels here. We can have so much power. But really, we don't need it. I mean, like I said, there is no real end game. Oh, look at that. Nice and secure over there. There is no real end game, so once we're done with the research, and we're going to be done with the research relatively soon, then there's not much else to do. So for that reason, I find when I play this game, it's important to not be in a tremendous rush. It doesn't really get you a whole lot. You'll just get to the end game sooner. And as I stated, in its current state, there really isn't an end game. So you're just um 
I'm just rushing to the end of the rainbow, you know? And, uh, how was it stated? It's just cornflakes. It's just cornflakes. Don't, don't be in a rush to get to the end of the rainbow. That, of course, is a reference to the uh, movie Click, for those of you that have not seen it. See, I don't even know if we need all this area over here. But we've built it, so we can kind of ramp down there with the vehicle. It's ending up a little larger than I had originally thought. I'm okay with that. No, no, no. Reconstruct that wall for me, please. Thank you. That's a little weird. And that fixes it. Building walls can be tricky. Ooh, ooh, what's going on? Really, what happened there? Why is my tool dis... Okay, there it goes. That was a little interesting. I'm not sure what happened there. As you can see, you can use this uh, alignment tool to sort of create these rounded walls, if that's what you're into. Of course, if you want straight walls, it's a little more difficult. Because the more you rotate the cursor around you, the more it wants to round the wall. I think this will be okay, though. We'll just be able to go like this. So there we go. Look at that. Again, it's difficult. It's difficult to get it looking perfect. So we're going to shoot for functional. <laughs> Perfection is the enemy of good enough, and I don't like to settle for mediocrity, but at the same time, sometimes you just have to realize when you've gotten as close to perfect as you're going to get, and and give up on it. Kind of like we're getting, we're rapidly approaching here with this. Here we go. Not so bad. Not so bad at all. We're getting a lot of it enclosed here. Now what I want to do here to discourage tumbleweeds from falling here is to actually... Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. Okay, so this is where... This is where we actually want to remove the wide mod because it's doing us a disservice. There. That's pretty enclosed. Now, a way to make it even better would be to give it a bit of a roof, right? About like this. About like that. So now a tumbleweed has to really want to get in through this entrance. And that's ideal. That's what we're going for all over. Close this up here. Right, so at this point, I think the wide mod was actually hurting us more than helping us. So we're going to roll without it for a time uh, until it's time to go back up top and bring the ceiling over, which we might be at that point. Maybe. We can build the wall up fairly easily, but it will also start to curve around us. And what I mean by that is if you just stood in one zone with the alignment tool and you dug all around you with it, you would in fact make a make a perfect dome. It would be a, just a round on all sides uh, dome. So you can use the alignment tool to protect you from storms in a pinch. You can also use it um, to build really neat things, which is what we're trying to do here. I think that's fairly good. Let's go back up top and... Oh, we're almost out of soil. That's okay, because all this this base is bland and 
and gray, and we're going to take care of that eventually too. Because we're going to be able to change the color of things and get it looking a little bit like a base before we build our shuttle and head out to explore the other planets. But I at least want to get this base good and to the point where I had imagined it. Don't want to leave it unfinished. And that's all of our soil. Okay. Lots of room up here for solar panels. You can see that in this configuration with unlimited solar power, there's no limit to how many solar panels you can build and... Oh, see, that's, that's a problem. That tumbleweed's going to get all kinds of caught up in here now. So we've still got some issues here and there. But by and large, look, it's starting to look like a cave. A nice man-made cave built up from the ground. I'd always wanted to do this, and I never did it because it's so much easier to build down into the ground. But I wanted to try to build up on top of it. And I have to say... Oh, I don't know what that was all about. I just walked right off the edge. But I have to say, it's it's coming along rather well, if I say so myself. I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. Canisters back before a tumbleweed gets us! Cancel! Cancel! Get in! Hmm, lots of tumbleweeds today. Lots and lots. Let's grab this lithium here. Now, lithium is one of those things we're not going to be using, but rather saving. And we're not going to build multiple bases. I, again, I just don't think the content is really there for mass building or for a huge long playthrough, although that would be really fun at a certain point in time. Simply because, I mean, we could just build one massive base after another after another, but at that point it's sort of, you know, you're just, you're just looking for stuff to do, and I, I generally don't do that in games. I like games that not necessarily that force an objective on me, but they, they give me goals to shoot for. You know, and this game says shoot for the stars, and you do, and then once you travel the stars, then you quickly realize that there needs to be endgame content, so. I think... Wait, did we make more medium storage? Because if we made more medium storage... We did. Let's grab one of those. And we'll put that on our vehicle with no canisters. And that'll be for the things like, uh, you know, lithium, titanium, and all of that. So it has more places to store itself so we don't run out of storage space as quickly. Let's see. We can make more medium storage. Let's do that. Look at all this aluminum. I love it. Lots and lots of aluminum. So you can see how this is starting to get kind of exponential in its growth. Now that we have the capability to bring back even more soil, we'll be able to run the mineral extractor even longer. And pretty soon, even the more difficult resources to obtain will be no problem if we want to make a bunch of them. Although, on the arid planet, titanium and lithium are actually really easy to get. So there's not a huge requirement. There's not a huge requirement to... Um, I forgot what I was going to say there. There's not a huge requirement to use the mineral extractor for the rare resources. So you can instead use it for your common resources more. Let's make sure this is nice and wide enough for our vehicle to get into. Because I really want to take it down into the depths. Into the depths we go. We're not going to have solar power, but that's okay. This is going to be a little treacherous getting back out. 
But we have two large rovers worth of battery and... No. Let's try that. All right, and we're off. Now, where was that exceptionally deep part? Was that it? No. Oh, don't fall. Is it over here? Oh, it's so crowded in here. We really need to make... Yeah, this is it. We really need to make a larger opening to get through. I know just the way to do it, too. Oh, I guess we're just going to drive down anyways. Okay. Works for me. Excellent. So now back down to the depths where we were. I want to continue exploring down here. It's a little ominous. Um, it's also a little empty, but that'll change over time. This will get us a bunch of copper. So we won't have to worry about using our soil for copper. Therefore, we'll be able to just use it for base construction and compound and resin. Which, on the arid planet, in my opinion, is really what you want to be using all your soil for. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Let's not fall down here. Like I just did. It's a little unnerving that I can't really see the ceiling. And look, it's just this big emptiness down here. And foggy? Is this just a dead end? It is just a dead end. Would you look at that? Oh! We fell down... What, we're, we're digging a... We're digging ourselves a hole? That's no good. We need to get out of here. See, I could have just dug up a bunch of soil on the surface. But I was like, no, we've got to go down in the cave. It'll be it'll be cooler. Take off that alignment mod is really messing with me. Come on. Come on, pop. There you go. All right, there was nothing in it, but that's okay. We didn't know that. Let's back up. There we go. And we'll get a little bit more of this malachite. The drill, I feel like, has been vastly improved. It used to be a little unwieldy to command. It's at least, it at least makes sense where it digs things up now. Oh look, there's more to the cave in this direction. Let's see what's over here. This is just such a huge... Uh-oh. There you go. Anything to research? No. That's okay. I didn't want to research anything anyways. Aha! But... Research. Let's see, we'll take this one. And yes, we'll take you too. We're a quarter of the way through our power on our rover. Not too concerned about it yet. Oh, it's sort of freaky just how open and. <gasps> Those are going to be problems. Let's take care of them. Run! Poisonous gases! And more of them over here. Oof. What do we have? A battery, an oxygen tank, some titanium... Lots more research just hanging out on the ceiling here. Lots and lots and lots and... What is this? What was that? A 
Was that some kind of creature or a new plant? Oh. I almost wanted to jump on it for science, but it seemed very hostile. Okay, I'm starting to feel like this is going to become my tomb. I'm going to end up like that astroneer. I'm a little concerned. We have more space for research to bring back. How was that open? Wait a second. Okay, no, I call shenanigans. That solar panel opened up and charged our rover back up. Like, what? I don't... Well, uh, okay. Uh, we'll just accept it. We'll just accept it. Um, we could try to... No, I brought that extra medium storage. So we're not bringing back more than two research. That's fine. We can head this way. It's more malachite. A lot more dangerous plants. Some research, research. What, pray tell, is all of this? Nothing. Hmm, okay. Oh, poisonous cloud, be careful. What do we have here? Organic? Interesting. You could build a pretty neat base down here. You could. There's absolutely enough space for it. I mean, you could get really creative and you wouldn't have to worry about building walls and such. It'd be kind of cool. Yeah, look at this. It's like all open and... Wow. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Because I'm starting to forget which way I need to go to get out. Is we're going to go get some malachite. Since it's right here. Is our solar panel... Did it just open? I think it did for a second. Somehow we're getting sunlight down here. This is the land of so much sunlight that it just, it never stops. Although there are energy crystals down here as well, so I mean, we could get our energy that way, but I heard the solar panel open. I know that that's what happened. Is it getting harder to see in here? Are we getting the effects of a storm deep underground? It's a little frightening. A little bothersome. Must be a very intense storm. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Although I guess, I guess to be fair, if we're getting sunlight on our solar panel this far underground, we should absolutely get the effects of some of the sunlight or some of the some of the storm as well on our visibility. I suppose that's that's just the way it would go. Well, I'm going to sit here and here's what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to drill this up until all of our soil canisters are full because I don't want to travel any well, we could go look for more malachite. No, this place will become our tomb if we're not careful. Although, look, there's Malachite over there. Okay, well, let's get some Malachite. Any amount of Malachite and Laterite that we can get while we're doing this is that much more soil we'll be able to save. Wait, wasn't it? Oh, there it is. Right? That's what that is. Yeah, I'm sure of it. Not a doubt in my mind. <laughs> that being said, let's let's see what it is. <laughs> oh, oh, you can reach. I believe in you. Why? Okay. So I don't generally like to complain. 
especially with early access games that I'm having fun playing. However, if the developers are listening, how about an, how about an emergency break, please? A handbrake. <laughs> we can engage while we're drilling so our vehicle doesn't keep sliding. Because that is taxing, I think is the word I would use. It's a little taxing. Seems like that would be a basic function for a rover. And we're still sliding. What we need to do is get like right underneath it. I wonder if we can go up. No, this is absolutely gonna slide. What we need to do is like, even the ground up like that maybe. Mm, it's trying to slide. It is, it's trying. Trying and succeeding. Unfortunately. Well, okay, so what I'll do is I'll just dig through here, get all this soil, and then we'll be on our way. Ooh, actually, looking at the time... It appears that we might be at the end of the episode, so we might just have to wrap up the episode down here in this abyss. And I will actually keep drilling and filling up these containers in between episodes. Ah. And then when we come back for episode 17, we'll be back up top with all of our soil. That being said, this has been Astroneer, episode 16. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you've had a good time watching. Because as always had a good time playing. Please come back next time as we continue to slide down further into the abyss because apparently handbrakes aren't a thing. But until next time, take care.